Being on the road for the past year hasn't stopped the members of Guns N' Roses from turning their talents towards outside projects. I've been doing like one-offs with different people like crazy and I've got um, a Stevie Wonder thing I'm doing and, and I just did Carol King. Well, I didn't do Carol King. Anymore. <laughs> I, I did something with her. I, I did a song with her and, and the Michael Jackson stuff. Duff has recorded a solo album with some help from his bandmates, Lenny Kravitz and Skid Row Sebastian Bach and Dave the Snake Sabo. And on the upcoming album, he shows that he's more than just a bass player. I played drums on most of the tracks. Um, Matt played on one of the tracks. Um, and I play bass, obviously, and I play guitar. And I sing, sort of. He's got a, a rock team with a rap in the middle. And it's, you, you gotta hear it. It's different, man. It's de definitely duff. It gave me a whole different perspective on on everything, you know, because I hadn't played drums for a long time. So um, it gave me a, a, a refreshing attitude on where Matt was coming from as a drummer. And I hadn't played guitar for a long time. So it gave me a refreshing attitude on where Slash was coming from. So it really kind of helped me out. I'm real inspired when you play with other people in their environment. You know, you have to, it makes you a better player. And as far as Guns N' Roses goes, there's no real similarity, you know, we do what we do, when I do something on the side, it's their thing, you know, so it's just me going and trying to adapt to their situation. I can imagine finding people that play really good that I want to do songs with and see about possibly putting a solo project together at some point, but not getting the same effect, but I can't really see trying to duplicate what Guns N' Roses is because Guns N' Roses is so much more than we ever thought it really would be. It's actually, it's like a, a dream band. <laughs>